Today we are going to create a custom post type, a new custom post type for the website of Rachel Futsaro. If you are a bit familiar with WordPress, you might have seen in the sidebar of your site those two sections, posts for your blog articles and uh, pages for any static page on your website, like for instance, uh, the home page, uh, the index pages for the different custom post types that you might create, uh, the about page, the terms of service page, the privacy policy page, the contact page, etc., etc. But this section would not be there by default, for instance, shop products. Shop products on the website, we already have it uh, on uh, the website of Rachel, is a custom post type. And uh, we will add a new custom post type today for the, the pet food items. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do this. But I wanted first to show you uh, the structure uh, of the admin. So with the posts, the pages, the custom post when we add them and a bit later in uh, in another video uh, we will also uh, tell you how to create the custom fields that you can attach to uh, the custom post and also uh, the taxonomies which can be custom taxonomies but today we will focus on how to create custom post types so let's move to uh, the admin of the website. Uh, you can see uh, in the sidebar uh, the CPT UI section. That's a plugin that we added called Custom Post Type UI User Interface. And you can click on Add Edit, edit Post Types to uh, add a new post type. So I will do this. And I will just uh, uh, choose the, the slug for uh, my custom post type. So if I come back to uh, the previous screen that I had here, you can see that the slug, it's what is coming just after um, the domain name. So if your uh, website is called mysite.com slash, and then we have the slug, which will be the slug for the custom post. And then we have uh, the title of the page, the slug, uh, the end of the slug for the page itself. So let's, uh, let's pick food. Uh, let's say food items for the plural, uh, which will appear uh, next to shop products here um, in the sidebar and food item singular version. And there's just one thing that I want to make sure that it is uh, activated. So if I go down here and I have here as archive, it's false by default. I will set it to true which means that we will have an archive page for all the, um, uh, the custom posts that we will have in the, in the food uh, custom post type. So everything is ready. Um, let's add this post type. And maybe what we can already do, because we already know the structure of the custom post, is uh, have a look at... Um, the, the Google Sheet that I received from Rachel with uh, already four entries for four uh, food items. As you can see, we have here in green um, a, a custom taxonomy, which will be the, the food type, cooked, kibble, etc. or the food types uh, will be added later on. So I will add a custom taxonomy to my website and I will connect the custom taxonomy to the custom post type. So the way you can do this is via the same plugin, a CPT UI, go to add edit taxonomies in the sidebar and then give it a name. So that would be a uh, food type. So for the, for the slug, that would be food type like that with an underscore. Here we will have food types and food type singular. And we already have food items. So we will just connect it to assign it to food items. Add taxonomy. Here we go. So now if I go in the sidebar to food items, uh, we can see we have food items under food products. So the custom post type has been created and we have uh, the, um, the custom taxonomy food types, uh, which is available now for those food items. So if I click on food items, there's nothing there. Obviously, we um, haven't uh, integrated, added any food item. The interesting part is that if I click on add new, it will be the usual UI with the, the default fields of any post, like the title and the body here. So you could just type something there for the title and then fill out the body, but you don't have any custom fields. And if we go back to the Google Sheet, 
you can already see that we have uh, the product title, the brand name, the brand logo, uh, some image for the food packaging, the food in a bowl, um, the featured image uh, for uh, social media, this uh, custom taxonomy, a short description, a long description, pros, cons, protein, uh, carp, uh, recipes, uh, price. So a lot of different custom fields, which you don't have by default attached to uh, the custom post type. So in the next video, what we're going to do is create the custom fields, which, we will, which will appear on the info sheet for each uh, custom post. But for now, if I go back to um, my admin, so I can see that I don't have any, uh, I don't have any uh, food item uh, integrated, and we will have first to add those custom fields before we can add anything either manually or by importing them through uh, WP All Import.